Hello everyone, Professor Landnut here. I hope you're all doing well and had a great summer. It's been quite a while since I've done a Power Tools video and I decided there's something I really want to share with you. So welcome to Carlson Desktop Power Tools in under 10 minutes, episode number 10, I'm happy to say. Very exciting. So before I start, I wanted to show you something. Yesterday I was revisiting one of the classic sets of my comic book collection. This was 1973, 50 years ago, believe it or not. And uh, Jim Starlin took over the Captain Marvel title and wrote and did the artwork for a whole new direction and kind of changed the whole face of the comic book industry with this, uh, some incredible stuff. And I was just loving reading through it and looking at his art. Uh, he's the one who got me started. And I turned the page and lo and behold, I saw this ad and um, I kind of had to sit back and chuckle. I really did because in about 1977, 78, I was reading a comic and saw this ad. I was working on my music career as a bass player and uh, looking to, uh, to do something else while I was working on it uh, and uh, saw this ad. I enjoyed drafting in high school. So I followed up with the Scranton Correspondence School and took a drafting course and went and got a job, tried to get a job as a drafter, got hired as a rodman on a survey crew in Grand Junction, Colorado. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history. So 45 years later, in a direct line from there to here, I'm happy to present what I think is some very exciting news in the I guess you'd say in the drafting business. Um, I've got uh, Carlson running, I've got a drawing going, and I'm gonna take you from there with uh, to right into our point cloud software. And we're going to fire that up. And we're going to create a new project. We're gonna call this PTX for point cloud at point cloud for power tools 10 and we're going to right click and import a set of files okay they're right here there's four of them to make up this site so we tell it to import them merge them into a single cloud we don't have to but we're going to do that we're going to take the defaults as far as any sort of you know, projection change or, or anything transformation, I'll just take the default straight through. Do you want to view this cloud? Yes, I do. And I want to show you, we'll again, take the defaults, direct color, and I'll show you this cloud. This is a really nice cloud. It's about 23, 24 million points, I believe. Let's take a quick look. Merged cloud properties, uh, 23 million points. Phenomenal. Um, we did not have this in 1978. Um, but anyway, incredible detail, incredible amount of information here that you could do volume calculations, you could do uh, contours and surfaces and all kinds of great stuff, set survey points. But I want to show you something I think is pretty spectacular. We're going to go to this cloud, we're going to go to the action, and we're going to create a polyline, okay? And we're going to just we're going to start right here on the cloud and we're going to come over here and just across here and then back over here just a very simple idea we want to put an access road into this site and we'd like to kind of see what we're going to deal with we want to see what's there okay so we sketch in some tangents for a center line for our access road we come over here now, we see our polyline, and we right-click and draw to CAD. This, to me, is the incredible power and magic of Carlson Point Cloud software drawn to CAD uh, versus some of the others. And the reason is this has instantly been written to the DWG. The DWG is open with everything you've ever done is just right there the way you've always done it, um, but basically... Uh, the point cloud software is functioning at the same time and you can have this conversation back and forth uh, between the two softwares. I'm going to scoot this out of the way for a second and take a look at this. And um, 
say, let's just do fillet, and we'll say the radius is 100, and we're going to say it's a polyline, and we're going to pick it and have it assign 100 foot radii, radiuses to the uh, PIs. Okay, and let's go ahead and save our work. Now, in survey or civil, I'm going to jump into civil, and I'm going to go to center lines, and I'm going to do polyline to center line file, and we're going to call this access road option number one dot cl. And there was one there from practicing. I'll just overwrite it, and we'll define a center line file. Very straightforward Carlson CAD work. Okay, now back in the software, back in the point cloud software, which is just sitting there waiting, we come back to our scene and we come over here to the action tab. And this is the power tool that I'm very excited about after all these years of doing this. This is very exciting new technology that, that I get to be part of. And I, and I hope you are too. Um, I'm going to say extract cross sections. We're going to go every 10 feet uh, 60 feet left and right, that'll do. And we're going to extract along a center line, not a polyline. It doesn't have the, the arcs, the curves at the, at the PIs. We're going to take our polyline and, I mean, take our center line and ask it to extract those sections, which it does. And you'll see them actually in the point cloud. You'll see little purple lines in there where it's created these, uh, extracted these sections. We'll say end action and you can see them in there. But if I come back to the project tab and I look at sections and double click and say, I want to view those in another scene in a separate window, it's going to open up a, a new scene just showing me these cross sections. And there they are. We'll just tip it up into 3D so you can see them. I think that's very exciting and, and pretty spectacular and incredibly incredible to, to get this information out of my point cloud and extremely useful information. Now I can go to the action tab and say, let's create a polyline. Okay. We'll snap to node and we'll come in here at the toe of slope and we'll start defining a polyline right along here, right along this toe of slope. Maybe it's down here a little. I can zoom in. I can tip it around to get a better view but let's just do this much for now. Okay. We'll say end action. There's a polyline for the Toa slope. So let's go back over here and find it. Here it is. We can go ahead and rename it. We'll call it toe. And then we can right click and we can draw it to CAD and we'll draw this one in 3d. This was the original polyline that we did the center line we did in 2d, but let's draw this one in 3d. Let's take a look at our drawing. Okay, there it is. If we go into a, a orbit, you'll see there's my break line along that toe of slope. Okay, I think that's really incredible, but let's do a little bit more. We'll come back over here and we'll go to our sections and we're going to actually draw all the sections to CAD. We'll put them uh, cross sections and we'll call it from point cloud, from point cloud as a layer name, not critical, but, but just so we know what, where it came from. Okay. And there they are drawn to CAD. So here we are back in CAD, back in the world that we know so well, right? So we come in here, let's do an orbit, come in, find something interesting. Here's a interesting feature right here. Let's do a draw, a 3d polyline. Okay. Take the defaults. And let's go ahead and set our settings here to, uh, let's go nearest. And we can come through here. And it's going to prompt me for elevations, which I'll just take. But there I am in CAD now. So there's a lot of workflows, folks. Um, it just depends where you want to do what. But the two environments are working together which I think is, is really spectacular. Okay. Last thing I want to show you, I think I have a few more, maybe another minute is I right click and I export my sections to Carlson as a section file. We'll call it PTX overwrite. The one that was there is fine. And we've written a PTX file. Now we come into civil 
Okay, back in Civil, we're going to go to Plan View. And then I'm going to show you Sections. And I'm going to say Section File Editor. And we open up our Carlson Cross Section File. And there's our viewer and editor of the cross sections that we created from Point Cloud. Again, really, really useful information. And last thing I'll show you is we'll come in here and we'll say draw them. We'll take this file and we'll go ahead and take the defaults of a five time vertical exaggeration is fine. We'll just start them over here. But I just want to show you there they are plotted sections in CAD. There they are stacked up plotted sections in CAD extracted from a point cloud. So I think that's really exciting stuff. And I hope you do too. And I hope this was interesting and useful. Uh, keep me posted. Stay in touch. Take care. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.